Hello, brown and red girls. How's your day today? Hopefully it's going amazing, because mine sure is. Today we're going to be going through a flying sidekick. I was watching the videos, some of the past videos. Uh, we had a little bit of an error on the first week, where it was uh, a little bit choppy, and I want to make sure that others weren't. Uh, and something that I realized, I went through every single kick. I've been through every single part of the curriculum, besides the rest of Take It Chill Done. We'll do that next week. Um, but the one thing that I have not done is a flying sidekick class. We've done everything but a flying sidekick. So today, that's what we're doing. Now, if you're a red belt, you don't necessarily need to know this kick, but this is a good kick for you to know. Because when you get start to get into Chodan Bow and Black Belt, we will be doing this kick again, actually quite frequently. So if you are a red belt, stick along, trust me, you'll get your flying sidekick even better and be more prepared for the future. Otherwise than that, let's get started. Face me, chariot, kumye, addies. So like I said, flying sidekick. A flying sidekick is broken into our normal four parts, right? Our chamber kick, re-chamber down. With all, every jump kick, this makes it a little bit more complicated though, right? Because your chamber's while jumping, your kicking's while flying, your re-chamber and you coming down and landing properly on the ground can be more difficult than me just saying it is. So, to get started, we're gonna work on just this first part of the kick, just the chamber. Step back in your guard, go, I, I don't care which leg this is, as long as you have your preferred leg in the back. So your preferred kicking leg should be in your, on the back foot. We're gonna do five back leg side kicks. This is pretty much our chamber for our flying side kick. Take your back leg, tuck it all the way in, and extend out. Notice that when I did that, I had to rotate my front foot. Go again, rotate your front foot, extend. This is a kick we should know rather well. It's one of our basic kicks. You should have this down really, really well. So when I tell you to do a back leg side, this should be second nature. Now, one thing that I see a lot of people do, which isn't necessarily wrong, but will hurt you on your flying side kick, don't twist the shoulder too far down. Keep your shoulder upright. So tuck, kick. That shoulder stays in line with my back foot. It's almost like there's a pull connecting the two. Two more times. One, two. One more time. Rotate, tuck, kick, down. All right. I would like you to take a couple steps back from that. Now, I'm going to go forward once, and then the rest I'll do sideways. Take a couple steps forward. Now, typically this should be three steps. If you do more than that, then you're going a little bit overboard. So you took your three steps forward. Now make sure the leg you want to kick with is in back. Rotate, extend. Let's do this again. Ready? Walk. When the leg you want to kick with is in back. Rotate, extend, down. Let's try this again a little bit faster. Walk out, kick, down. One more time, walk out, the leg you want to kick with is in back, extend, down. Perfect. So that's our chamber. Believe it or not, that is our chamber. But there's one more step to this chamber. All we need to do is this back leg needs to be tucked. So I'm going to have you do the same step, and I do want you to walk. When this foot's back, you're in a chamber like you're in a back leg side kick. But instead of kicking, I just want you to lift off with your back leg and bring it as high as you can. So again, I walk forward when the leg I want to kick with is in back. I lift and tuck. Land. Let's try this out. Ready? Go. Walk forward. Leg you want to kick with is in back. Lift and tuck. The most important part of this is, yeah, lifting your leg, but also rotating your hips. That's why we did that back leg side kick. Let's do it two more times. So, this leg's gonna come up, rotate my hips, tuck. One more time, let's go full pace. Ready, go. Walk when it's in back, rotate, tuck, down. All right, now to the kicking section. Now, I see a lot of people do flying side kicks as this extended leg, holding it out there for a very long time, as long as I can, and then land sloppily. 
if you wanted to treat this more of a push kick, right? You're doing what this kick was originally used for, knocking somebody off a horse. If you want to do this as, you know, somebody's taking down somebody else and you need to fly over that other person, knock the other person over, extending your leg, holding it out there is a good way to do it. But, 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 the big but there, when you hit it, once you push them off, you don't keep your leg there or you're gonna land sloppily. I see a lot of people do this flying side kick where they go up, they do this amazing side kick, and then they leave their leg out. So if you're gonna do that today, that's great. Bring your leg back in about, hmm, right when you start to fall. So you get your height, you extend your leg out, you hold it, and then when you feel like you're falling, tuck your knee in, and then land. Now, if you're doing this more of a board break, you just slamming your leg out there isn't gonna break the board super easily. You need to punch your kick, meaning just like your back leg side, snap your kick and come back down. Now, we're doing the kick here, we're also kind of doing the reach angle. We'll talk more about the landing in a second, but after you kick, bring your knee back and land. Let's do this slow motion three times and then full pace two times. Walk forward. Back leg's gonna come up, rotate your hips, tuck your back leg, shoot your leg out, land. Notice how I'm doing more of a punching motion. I punch, reach chamber, and land. Let's do this again. Let's go a bit faster. I'm off screen now, but I'm still here. Walk, one, two, three, snap, down. So, that motion, I swing around, I switch my hips, I tuck my knee up, I snap my leg and reach chamber. One more time slowly, and yes, you should be able to do it slowly, even if it's hard for you, even if you're a red belt. Go. If you can't do it slowly, then you can't do it properly full pace. All right, let's run. Let's do it full speed. Two times, ready? Go. Land, final time. Ready? Chariot, at ease. There's one final step to this kick. Landing, the hardest step to the kick. I would say it's the hardest because I've never seen it really done super well at an advanced rank. Obviously when we get to red belt, it gets a little bit better. But when a kid first learns this kick at brown belt, it is their secret biggest struggle. Meaning, they struggle with it, I tell them they struggle with it, but they don't believe me. They feel like, well, I'm landing on my feet, so I'm fine. The problem is, is if you do a flying side kick and you land down here, you are not in a good position. Remember, you just knocked somebody off a horse. You just did a flying side kick over your friend and knocked somebody to the ground. Do I want to be like this while somebody's on the ground next to me, still awake, ready to kick? No, I want to be up in my guard. That way, if they are on the ground, I can use my height to help me. Or, if I knock them out and they're somewhere on their feet, I can still move. So if you land here, and it doesn't work out well. The only way you can land properly is after you do your kick. You need to shoot this foot down. If you keep it extended, you'll land in this kind of awkward stance, or you'll land bent over. So after your kick, Rechamber and shoot it close to your other foot. Not next to it, but pretty close. Let's try this out. Let's do it slow motion once. Walk, jump, kick, and shoot it down. After you kick, tuck your knee in, shoot down. Let's go again. Down. One more time, run, break your board, down. All right, now I want you to go full pace. Do your running, do your jumping. If you need extra room, all right, that's, I have a full floor, right? So I can go all the way back there if I wanted to do this kick. But if you're in a small bedroom, you can still do this. If I have one mat space, I can still do this kick and land in it. But, 
I need to curve. So instead of having my line straight and short and get, I'm going to draw kind of a lunar shape. So if you're a red belt, you need to work on uh, something a little bit more, do that. If you're a brown belt, you're going to do this kick, just run straight. So the lunar shape, I step out, I step out, I step around, and then I whip and kick. So I'm drawing this circle. First step, second step, when the leg I want to kick with is in front, right? Third step, leg I want to kick with is in front, I whip round, kick. If my left leg, if I'm kicking with my right leg, my left, I should be going to my right side. So if I'm kicking with my right leg, I go to my right side and curve. If I'm kicking with my left side, I go to my left side and curve. That way when I step around here, I'm able to switch my hips and extend. So you can try that, or you can do whatever you want, you can go straight. Let's do our kick. Hmm. Two more times the best you can. Ready? Draw an extension. Aye, aye. Land properly, draw your uh, lunar shape if you'd like. And go. Aye, aye. One, final one. Make it the best you can. And go. Aye, aye. Chariot, punye. Thank you for being with me here today as we go through our final kick. Now, if you want to go through some of the other kicks, uh, we do have other classes on it. You can search through our system. It will say kicks, and you'll know that it will be one of your six or seven kicks that you need to know. But if you're a brown belt, this is a kick we haven't done yet. So hopefully you got a lot from it. If you're a red belt, hopefully you got a lot from it as well. Otherwise than that, I'm going to end the class there. What's our goal? Black belt excellence, sir. Chariot, Kunye. I'll see you guys next time.